welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Sage Morgan Hubbard, and I am a contractor with the Anacostia Community Museum and our special, amazing Food for the People, Eating and Activism in Greater Washington program. Um, this month is really special for our Take Time Thursdays. They will all be about food and food justice for our year-long theme, Our Food, Our Future. And we'll talk about food history, culture, and justice. And we're really super excited about today because we have the one and only Chris Styles Bacon, the Grammy-nominated progressive hip-hop artist and multi instrumentalist and he's going to lead us in a workshop today. Um, before I get into Chris Styles' bio, I want to take a moment to talk about this event and Take Time Thursdays. These happen every Thursday with Anacostia Community Museum, and it gives you a chance to take a moment for wellness, our health and creativity with artists and thought leaders, performers and wellness practitioners. And it's from 2.30 to 3 p.m. every Thursday. Come back next week and we'll have more goodness for you to boost your mind, body and spirit. As always, please wait and hold off your questions till the end and you can place those in the chat or the Q&A feature. And Chris Stiles, I'm sure, is going to make it very interactive for all of us. So we want to have your questions. Just let's experience first, and then we'll get into the dialogue. Um, so to give you a little bit more of a taste of the homegrown Chris Stiles, who is a long-term friend and um, just someone that I've admired. He is a performer that multitasks between various instruments, such as West African um, djembe drums, acoustic guitars, and even beatbox and oral percussion, all while doing the oral tradition. Hey, Mark, I think you're on off mute. Okay. Sorry about that for a second. Thank you. Um, so we're also really excited about him that he has worked the National Cathedral to be the first hip hop artist featured in our Smithsonian Folklife Festival, a recording folk and hip hop children's album. He's also the recipient of multiple honors by the Washington Area Music Association, including the 2013 Artist of the Year Award and the Montgomery County Executive Award for Excellence in the Arts, and even been honored as one of the 2012 Library Superhero by the Friends and Libraries of Montgomery County. So without further ado, let's put our hands together and give a warm Zoom welcome for Chris Styles Bacon. What's up, everyone from your from our collective cribs? You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm um, broadcasting live to you in Columbia Heights, live from my living room. You know what I'm saying? Like that I've converted into a, a studio just for y'all. <laughs> so look, we about to write we about to write a song today, y'all, about some bomb food. Okay? So look, I'm gonna give y'all an example of what we're about to do. Okay? So look. I made a little beat here by sampling and um and so i'm gonna put this beat it mixes together some flavor from dc like what go go you hear a little pst, just all drum beat instead of um instead of um the the regular drum set and then i mixed in like a lot of instruments from brazil like this instrument called the cuica you hear it's like a like a really high pitched sound it usually sounds like monkeys in the tree all right that's what that's called it's called a cuica all right Let's get it, and then I'm gonna do this song for you, okay? Oh, and triangle. You can't forget about the triangle. All right, so look, let me know if you hear the music okay, and if you hear the rhymes okay. All right, can, can you hear the music? Can you hear the music? Is it bopping? Is it bopping? Let me know, let me know. Put it in the chat, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Now let's run it back, here we go. This is about something called mambo sauce right here. I went away from DC to a Chinese spot to get a three piece wing with fries in the rice box. Post against the wall while I'm waiting for my number to call. They like, sit and make yourself at home. I'm like, wait a minute, yo, y'all got carpet on the floor. I'm from the south side. I carry y'all don't have tables and chairs in it. They got bathrooms with the wicked painted pictures. And I carry y'all ain't even got air conditioners. My order came up. I told them put it in the bag. Then I realized I wasn't talking through the plexiglass. So I dapped up the boss. The 
hair woman in charge and then asked her, where is the mambo sauce? She looked at me, ah, uh, as if I just threw her off. What in the world is that? I said, you know the red sauce. Now I'm a DC representative and we known for that swing. But I didn't know the sauce was just a DC thing. We ordered chicken with the mambo sauce, fries with the mambo sauce. They never use enough, I got a side of you. Now tourists come through the hood sometime when they get lost. They keep on asking us, what on earth is mambo sauce? We ordered chicken with the mambo sauce, fries with the mambo sauce. They never use enough, I got a side of it. Now tourists come through the hood sometime when they get lost. Keep on asking us, what on earth is mambo sauce? A lot of carryouts in DC got the same old names. But if you taste it, mambo sauce is never tasting the same. It tastes better on the fries from the flavor side. Trust me, you can find it at your nearest. Young Georgias and Luckies, I got caught on the back of the bus with the pay food. It's for the cup of sauce off a swerving on that A2. A brother got kicked off the driver of a bus cause he could smell that mambo sauce to the front of the bus. But I got the answer. Now for the cure of the cancer, the way to make the sauce, sugar, water, and ketchup with the hot sauce in it. Throw a fork in it. Mix it upon the chicken till you lock your jaw with it on the DC scenery. You be often seeing me. Posted at the young diabolical eatery. Sandwich subs, got the steak and cheese, but the joint with the most within the sauce of Johnny's. We order chicken with the mambo sauce, fries with the mambo sauce. They never use enough, I got a side of it. The tourists come to the hood, some time when they get lost. They keep on asking us, what on earth is mambo sauce? We order chicken with the mambo sauce, fries with the mambo sauce. They never use enough, I got a side of it. The tourists come to the hood, some time when they get lost. They keep on asking us, what on earth is mambo sauce? There you go, y'all. Right there, mambo sauce. Yo, I was inspired to write that song um, when I was on a trip with my good, when my when my good friend Jamal was. We were doing a, um, a songwriting and video project in Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh, PA, y'all. And we're we're up there for like a number of days. And as you just drive around, I'm just noticing the terrain and everything. And I look around and I talk to talk to my dude Jamal. I was like, Yo, Jamal, yo, I ain't seen like one carryout up in this joint since I got here. He was like, nah, they don't have, they don't have carryouts. Found out to be really strange. Now fast forward, I'm at another joint. Uh, I'm up in New York, uh, about to do a gig up there, and I see a lot of carryouts. And you go to the carryout, and um, and I ask for the thing that I usually get, right? Back in those days, I say, oh yeah, let me get the three piece wing with the fries and the mambo sauce on both sides, so the food could be fully saturated in the sauce. She looked at me like I'm crazy. So I then I go out to the other establishment to patronize that joint, cause you know how you going, you know, yeah, you gotta make the customer feel nice. You know what I'm saying? All right, so look, I asked for the same thing. She looked at me like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about. Then my homeboy told me, dog, that only exists in D.C. And then a single tear, tear just started to trickle right down here. It was a sad trip <laughs> on the on the culinary tip. So look, yeah, that's what inspired that thing right here. And so I just wanted to write a song about it because it documents DC culture. So culture is many things. It's um music. It's it's um it's spirituality, like outlook. It's um. It's clothing, it's language, it's language, it's vernacular, and it's also food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this right here was the one was one way that I that I felt I could um document my culture and, and, um, and my people and share and share our stories with other people. So then I go, I go to Brazil, I go to Senegal, or I go to these other places. I perform this song, and now people know a little something about DC culture. And in fact, it was this song um that led to um, mambo sauce being put in all these restaurants because <laughs> i performed this at the hamilton when it first opened downtown dc and then the proprietor didn't even know about it and then his his chef was from dc he made it that was the first restaurant that had mambo sauce in it after that it took off it was a whole big deal <laughs> so like yeah mambo sauce so this is our thing so look what so this is the thing this is what you got to do now you got to think what is that one thing for you as far as food that feels like home for you all right well what's that home food it don't have to be just your it don't have to just be your city it could be your country it don't have to be your country it could just be you personally and your family i know one thing if i was to make this not about dc and i was to make it about just me personally on the on the family tip it'd be my aunt mary's banana pudding that thing is too bomb you know i'm vegan now but i have to make it a cheat day all right just just for that <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i don't know 
take some tums or something because they have dairy in it. I don't know, but you know, you gotta make you gotta make moves for that. So look, what's that thing for you? Put it in the chat. I I want to see. I want to see what's the thing for you. What's the thing for you that is um that that is like home for you? All right? on the food tip, because this is what we should write about. All right. Uh, we got the spice sour crab. Hey, oh crab cakes, I right, for the win. Oh my man put oh snap, general toast chicken out here. Dang, I right, we have plantains. All right, let's go. So look, this is what I would like to do. Okay, biscuits with the bar. Oh biscuits and barbecue sauce. There you go. Then you haven't mixed the biscuit. I don't think I ever put barbecue sauce on a biscuit before either. I was just thinking about that. Like, all right, so. Or just a favorite food of yours, you know what I'm saying? You could do something about that, all right? Honey on fried chicken, man. I think I may have had that before, but it was like you put some sauce on it, then you got some honey mixed up, like a honey barbecue wing, you know? Okay, oh, what up, Gary? Got the mac and cheese for the win. Okay, Sean Felix got the Lito's Pizza up in this joint. Okay, yo, Lito's, P Lito's Pizza, man, you got to be easy on that joint. It's too good, you know what I'm saying? I mean... I won't be able to fit into any clothing <laughs> after this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to write a song together, okay? We're going to write, well, these different songs. It's all going to come together, okay? So look, at the top of your paper, write your name, date, and your class. <laughs> write your name, date, and, um, and, um, and, and songwriting class. <laughs> all right. So look. Or, or on your phone or whatever, just put the thing so you have it at the at the top of it, whatever you're going to write about. So this is what I like to do. I like to take an inventory of like of like whatever, whatever things are connected to the subject that I write about. So, for example, um, let's say on your on part of your paper or on whatever documents you're using, you have the name of it. OK, Mambo Sauce. Where do we usually find the Mambo Sauce? Set? Oh, yeah, we find it in the carryouts. That was during that time when I wrote the song. It was only in carryouts, um, but now you can find it in stores because there's a really great black couple that um, does that does Capital City Mambo Sauce, and there's another um, young young black kid, young black male from um, from um, PG County that has his own brand of Mambo Sauce too, and they're just they're all good folks. So you so now you can find it in this store, that place. You know, you're just taking inventories. Um, what else? What do you usually use this thing with? What does it usually accompany? What's um like does does this food for you mean that you're around your family? Does that you know what I'm saying like what's the social context of it? I like to just put all of these things down. It's kind of like um so you have like things to pull on when you're writing your song, okay? So you never be stumped like what should I talk about next? It's it's gonna be all it's gonna all be there for you. So I let. You got those things, okay? Locations, where you can find it. I who? So you we got the where, we got the who, you know what I'm saying? Like who's usually around you, all that stuff. Family just said that. What? Like what is this thing? Like, um, for example, vegetable lo mein. What is lo mein? What does what does lo mein mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh so all all of these little things, this this is like your your ammo, you know what I'm saying? This is your source material, you could just take that. I so I give you some time to write those things down, and while I'm do, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna. I, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I hope you got it figured out. So look, we got those things. I now. Some people like to write, they're, they're two like really important parts when you're writing a rhyme, when you're writing a rap. There's the verse and then there's the chorus. The chorus we sometimes call a hook. We call it a hook because it always repeats and the repetition usually gets people hooked on the music. It, it hooks your mind, you know. That's the part that you'll walk away singing, all right? And uh, uh, yay, thank you, Sage. She got you with the directions in the chat section, okay? So the hook does the job of um of getting caught up in your head, it repeats, right? So you don't want to make your course too long, right? Or your hook too long. The verse is like where you go into like all the detail. If you were like writing like a um, if you was writing like a five paragraph essay or something like that, your course will be a thesis statement, and like your verses will be like where you break it down. You know what I'm saying? So um, 
So let's write a verse first and then we could write a chorus, okay? So your verse does the job of telling you all of these things. What is this what is this thing that we're talking about? Let's say um let's let's talk about yeah, let's talk about that that Lido's pizza. This is not sponsored by Lido's pizza, just Anacostia Community Museum. All right? So Lido's pizza, right? What if you ain't got a Lido's around around your way? You know what I'm saying? You don't know anything about it. So you got to go in with the details and stuff. I mean, you could do it in a narrative form. Like for me, I was like, I went away from D.C. to a Chinese spot to get a three-piece wing with fries in the rice box. Post against the wall while I'm waiting for my number to call. They like sit. You know, I'm, I'm just like noticing like how they got tables, chairs, and air conditioning. So this is like strange to me. So you go into this Chinese restaurant and they got... You know, it's not like a regular carryout where no tables and chairs, you know, and plexiglass. So that's how I chose to go into it. For you, and anything goes, as long as you're giving like details and context around, um, around, you know what I'm saying, the topic right here, which is that Lido's piece of joint. So in this case, you could be like, oh, people don't know about Lido's. What is Lido's? I went around this joint. I hop. I got on the, um, I got on the. I got on the ninety, um, the ninety six bus real quick. Got off at this street and then walked down here. I was in Alitos, and you know the square pieces, stuff like that. I right, so details is everything. You want it to be like, you want it to be something that if someone who was about that Alitos piece of life, if they heard this joint, they'd be like, mm, mm, preach. You know what I'm saying? Testify. You know what I'm saying? So you want you want the amen corner off this joint. So that's that right there. Maybe you'll have a problem with rhyming because, you know, when we're rapping, we got to make sure that everything rhymes all right, at the end of every sentence. <laughs> all right. Usually. So maybe you're having trouble rhyming. Right. Let's come up with a hmm. I'm going to show you a little trick. So there is a rhyming dictionary. You can always type in Google rhyming dictionary and you can find this and type in a word and stuff like that. But here's here's what I like to teach, um, like like my 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 little students, you know, when you start off with a, um, when you got a word, first you say a sentence like, um, I I'm chilling at the Lido's, you know what I'm saying? So you have Lido's, right? Um, what rounds with that? Sometimes you could take the first, sometimes you could take the first letter and drop that and then go all the way from A to Z, replacing whatever that first sound was with whatever sound you get from that um from that letter you know what i'm saying or like if it was like cat then you'll take off the c and you'll have add and if you put it with a b then it's a bat and then if you replace um if you replace it well see we got cat if you do d you got that like 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 that but you know what I'm saying with a hood spelling and then if you go to e then it's e because english is weird <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um the f fat you know what i'm saying and you go like that but just just a little warning sometimes um when you got when you have all these rhyme words like this people it's people have this tendency to let the rhyming word lead their content it's like walking the dog and you're supposed to like choose the journey but the the dog winds up walking you don't let the dog walk you okay so whatever it is it's it's you know saying you set the intention of what you or what you want to say what you mean to say in this sentence in the next sentence and then use the rhyme word to make it bend to your will like yo i'm up in Lido's down the street from columbia heist train station it's me and three amigos you know what i'm saying there you go look in the back in the like back of the line it's like 50 11 people you know what i'm saying i'm gonna crush this pizza and then tomorrow that's the sequel <laughs> you know what i'm saying like things like that all right so look, get your get get your rhyming on. Try giving me like, try giving me like four line four lines, okay? Four lines, four lines that rhyme, okay? Let's start off with that. I'm gonna give you a beat too. Let's see. I'm gonna hit y'all with another beat on them. This joint is real chill. Let's see. 
write four rhyming lines about the food of choice, okay? That gives some detail, give us some context. If you have any questions around what's happening right now, or if you need any help, put it in the chat. I'm reading that joint. Let me know. I got you covered like shape butter. Give it three minutes from now. Jada, I see you. I eat so much pasta. Like, let me, I'm, I'm waiting for the next line. I need to hear this next line or read this next line rather. Fire, y'all. Yeah, put them lines. Put them lines in there. Put them lines in the chat, y'all, so I can see what y'all working with, all right? So we wrote four lines. I should have said we wrote, but we was really writing two couplets. So a couplet, couple, two lines right there. So usually you use like two lines. That's like the standard to get some stuff together. Yeah. That is our time for writing these four lines. I right? put put them lines in the chat. I want to see where y'all at. All right. Let's see what's happening. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to reach our selections. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I could if I could reach your raps for you <laughs> over the beat. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. All 
All right, Mark, you over here getting down with the get down, I see. Okay. One thing that I know there isn't even much room. Yo, yeah. See the E, little COVID, you can grab it and hit the street. God, I leave. I'm alive. Let's go. Yo! Here we go. I'm about to read. <laughs> I'm about to read this. Read this. <laughs> So this is a whole nother part to writing rhymes, is the musical element of it. Rhythmically, how do you approach it? And your rhythmic sensibility is based on like what you hear, what you think sounds good. You can just, for example, read in Mark's selection, vegan spots popping up like mushrooms. Once in the dark, now there isn't even much room to sit your butt down in the seat to eat. But with COVID-19, you could grab it and hit the street. You know what I'm saying? That's how, I delivered his piece right there. And that right there had a more of a, like a conversational type of flow instead of like really in the pocket, vegan spots, popping up like mushrooms, once in the dark. Now there ain't much room. Sit your butt down in the seat to eat. But with COVID-19, grab the bike and hit the street. You know what I'm saying? There's more pauses in that joint. Um, just different, different rhythms you could apply to this. And usually we mess around and omit certain words that usually works grammatically, but we will take certain things and drop it. We might drop a subject, whatever. We might, we might take a preposition, take that out there because we gotta make it fit within the measure. Cause not only are we worrying about like the message, but we're also worrying about the delivery because you gotta make people dance at the same time. Different from singing, your words are a percussion instrument, all right? So that's how we approach that one. So shout out to Mark for getting it in like a champion. Let's go, uh, let's go on down. Uh, so we can hook it up right now. Alright. Alright, let's go to Jada. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, I eat so much pasta. I don't even wanna say pasta. Long noodles as long as a rasta. Eat it all kinds. There's no impasta. <laughs> That's great. Yo, on point, yeah. Yo. Good stuff. Yo, what up, Gary? Here we go. Let's see. Let me see. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see. Hey, Gary, is this first joint? Is is this the joint? The first time I ate pho was in DC. Drink water with a meal to quench my thirst. The vegan broth so spicy. Ah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But. Ah, okay. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. It's interesting. I see the rhyme, but it was hard for me to locate the rhyme break, right? Because of the flow of the sentence. It's so interesting. See, that's coming from the poetic standpoint, right? Um, from the poet standpoint, right? Here we go. Let's see. Let me see if I can make the if I can hit this real quick. The second time I ate pho, I was pho. I was ah, uh, so I said pho. It's pho. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can make it fit my delivery style. All right. The second time I ate pho, I was in D.C. I drank water with my meal to clench my thirst. It was so spicy. The vegan broth, but to add the sriracha. Ah. <laughs> but I still add sriracha, did tofu, mushroom, carrot, and broccoli. I gotta. See, it's hard for me to try to do it like this. Um, I would like to hear your delivery style for this one. See, for me, it will be too verbose for me, right? So I will probably, I'll probably make the, the syllable count like um, a little less and stuff, just to put it in certain flow and stuff. But yeah, good stuff. Come on, y'all. Who got, who got the, who got the banging as far in DC? Let a brother know. Put it in the chat. I nominate for Viet on 14th Street. I'm just saying. All right, here we go. Hi. Should I okay. try? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like Morpheus. <laughs> All right, cool. It's Morpheus Gallery. Okay, ready? Please go. Go. Uh, 
The second time I ate pho was in D.C. like the first. I drank water with my nails to quench my thirst. That vegan broth so spicy, but it still adds sriracha. Dear tofu mushroom, carrot, and broth. I gotcha. Oh, yo, congratulations. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, Gary, you still there? I'm still here. You still there? Morpheus is still there. I'm so I'm so glad that you have um that you have achieved not only um the ability to write rhymes but also omnipresence. So <laughs> but uh but like no that's so interesting because I didn't even catch I didn't even catch um yeah it's just like I didn't even catch like how that rhyme lined up like that. You know what I'm saying? It's so interesting like mine's are outfitted differently. Thank you so much, homie. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. hey. All right. Man, look, we we have some latency with the beat and stuff um, because of, you know, it's traveling through space and then hitting you, right? So what I would like to do, if y'all want to spit your rhymes and stuff and try it, I'm going to hit pause on the beat and you share your joint. Yo, Janelle, would you like to, um, would you like to <laughs> spit a rhyme? Sure. I need a little bit more beat, though. I can't hear. Oh, but I need see, to hear that, that's what the you thing. said. Okay, but... Warning though, warning. If okay, you say it warning. on time from you, it's gonna sound probably late to me because okay, of um, all right. Latency. Let me try this joint. This is not my lane. But anyway, oh. my favorite spot that I like to eat is Panda Express with rice sauce and meat. I was so excited with one open down the street, but upon ordering my lunch with great anticipation, said, Is this meat? This was supposed to be tasty, supposed to be good, but I recognize it don't taste like the one in the hood. It destroyed my taste for it. Not today, nor tomorrow. Much to my dismay, it is not even in my radar. Dang. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I can wait all day, but the rhyming part, yeah. Nah, you got it. You got it. And then, you know, it just like, um, it just like hit that A to Z. That's just a quick joint right there. But then, um, but then you could think like, which, which rhyme do people usually go to? And you could just like catch them off guard. And then we also got slant rhymes, y'all. Depending on your accent, certain words are going to rhyme for you that doesn't rhyme for the next person. Like quarter and water, they don't rhyme, but quarter and water do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all accents, right? Because it sounds at the end of the day. Yo, thank you so much for that. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. All right, and we're gonna try to get y'all out the joint by three fifteen. Let's see. All right, this is Chris Styles Baker for Anacostia Community Museum. We're on the line with some new rhymers. Will anybody like to read their rhyme? Just unmute themselves. You can raise your hand if you want to spit it. Ra raise your hand if you like to spit your rhyme. Caller, do we have any callers on the air? <laughs> Raise your hand if you want to spit your verse. All right. Oh, I could just do the joint for you. Let's see. Let's see. Not every name. No hands raised. Hey. No hands raised? Okay. Then I'm gonna spit this. I'ma spit this special selection then. I'ma spit this special selection for for Kanisha real quick. I people, places, and things we go out every day and we hang. The places that we see on the main, things that we do is insane. All right, so guy hit us with that first joint. I'm like, oh, where's this round going to go? You know, what I'm saying it, it creates such a such suspense. You know, it's like um, you just threw us in the middle of the scene. So this is like really good for like opening up a song. You know, what I'm saying it's like starting a TV show and they start you up in the middle of the climactic action like the person is running or whatever you're like yo what happened then it goes to like hulu presents you know what i'm saying <laughs> or whatever you're watching it on right so good stuff y'all all right hey yo griffin let's go let's see okay hey hey i'm gonna geechee in the state of georgia where things are peachy there you go okay Let's go. First off top, establish, establish the culture. Where? In the state of Georgia. Okay, where things are peachy. And then, you know, that could be an association to peach, to food, to, you know what I'm saying? It's a good way to go in. And then you could straight up talk about all, uh, all of the, the rich cuisine around that culture, yo. Mm. 
oh yo y'all gotta see this show called uh speaking of food sovereignty and all this stuff called feed the nation have y'all seen that well um padma lakshmi is really dope just co- covering like different um immigrant cultures and stuff around the united states but they do they do go over Gullah Geechee um food too it's really good just a recommendation all right let's see all right let's see what else we got what else we got all right yo denica denica are you in the house uh will you like the uh spit on now a couple of rounds like the stuff you put up in the chat use the joint in the rap yeah. oh, i can rap it for you let's see I unmuted her, she wants to do it. Okay, now I do it for you. Here we go, here we go. Eating pants in with my Filipino brethren. If you're hip, then you know my taste buds are in heaven. Warm baked bread with that cinnamon sugar. Hands up, testifying, cause you know I'm delivered. <laughs> hey. hey, that thing was hitting, right? <laughs> I know, that's why pants go hard. I'm just saying. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> All right, we got some good stuff here, y'all. Y'all already know the flavor. <laughs> hey, my brethren up in this joint. You ain't worried about food, though. Oh. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, y'all got that, y'all. So before we slide to the left real quick, because we ain't gonna be able to go all the way in, let's talk about writing a hook real quick. Cause clearly, clearly y'all got the skills and y'all got the right, y'all got the right frame of mind to write a verse. You know what I'm saying? You just go into more detail, you can just spread out and then you have a whole nother verse you can set it up. You could just talk about like um, what it is in the first verse or you could just talk about the scenery or whatever in the context around it and then the next verse you could break it down you know what i'm saying like oh this is what it's made of this is what's going on let's talk about hooks real quick so here we go so for a chorus or a hook it usually repeats so you could have two lines that repeat you know what i'm saying or you could sing it, you know what I'm saying, find a way to make it different. Usually in a verse, we're, we're more ro- uh, we're more verbose. We're, we're saying like a lot of things, but we might want to make the chorus simpler. Um, let's say, like, hey, what we about to get for then? Hey, hey, what we gonna get for then? Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like something like that, you know, make a little chant, make it celebratory, you know what I'm saying? It's like a protest, you know what I'm saying? You want to get something that everybody could jump into. Um, that everyone's gonna feel good saying. It's gonna be easy for them to say it. If you use like a crazy like delivery, like hey, digga da da ba, digga da da da, digga da digga da da, people are not gonna easily latch onto that and, and and be able to say it with that type of delivery, you know. So, a group called Rare Essence, a go-go band from Berry Farms in Southeast, had this song, um, and the chorus is like, uh, we eat sardines, hey, and pork and beans. Uh, uh, sardines, hey, and pork and beans. That's it. People don't know. People not might not even know the rest of the stuff, right? But they know that one chorus, you know. So that's just an example. So what is your chorus? Come up with your hook real quick. Yeah, it is junkyard. All right. So look, junkyard band from from Good Old Berry Farm. All right. Uh, 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 uh. So Jada says, do I know what that means? Do I know what that means, eating sardines and pork and beans? Well, if it's some type of like, if it's like an extended metaphor for something, I don't know. But I know from growing up, <laughs> from growing up in, in their in their rival hood, Con and Terrace, that sometimes you gotta eat French toast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which we did, which we did. Or you gotta mix some stuff up. You know, I wear dress clothes, but I'm from Southeast. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's a line from the song, from a song. Put that joint, yo, hit me, hit me with a, hit me with a direct message, Jada, cause you get me hip to the trip. Oh nah, put it in the chat for everybody so we all know, all right? So look, dang, I didn't know. Y'all was um, pulling from another song. 
So look, what's your chorus is? Let me know what your chorus is. I give you one minute to write a hook. And that's probably all you should need. It should be something that's really like, just let it flow naturally. Try not to think too much, all right? Jada, okay. JYB aficionado. Yes, indeed. School and me. Let's go. All right, y'all. That's our time, all right? So look, would anyone like to share their would like to share their courses? Uh, okay. Hey, let's bring that thing back. All right, let's bring that thing. All right, Sage Sage, let's see what you got, what you got. Hey, let's see what you got, what you got. Hey, hey, eat what you need, don't follow your greed. Eat what you need, don't follow your greed. There's enough in the world for all of us to feed. There's enough in the world for all of us to feed. There you go. You know what I'm saying? She hit you with the, she hit you with the repeat on the first one right there, and then she hit you with the B, the B section. You know what I'm saying? She hit you with the two piece. She gonna come around with the biscuit, you know what I'm saying? With the verse, you know what I'm saying? There you go, you are gonna be out. That's instant itis right there. What you gonna do about that? Nothing but sleep, all right? So look, let's see what else y'all got, all right? I didn't realize I was unmuted when I was singing earlier, but I do have one. Oh, I'm alive. Let's go. All right. Okay. Hold up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's your favorite food. Yeah. Oh, it's your favorite food. You better keep it so <laughs> What's your favorite food? Yeah. Oh, what's your favorite food? Hey, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need right there. You know what I'm saying? It's a quick joint right there. These are the things that get stuck in people's heads, yo. Congratulations, y'all. All right, what else, we, what else we got? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Put your hand up in the chat. we we'll turn up the mic so you could um, recite. <laughs> all right. Let's see, let's see. All right, Jay, what you got? You got carbs. Cars, all I want is cars, 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 all I want is cars. Hey, hey, cars, all we want is cars. Yo, straight up though. All right, what else? We got, we got Christopher Warren right here. Let's see. All right, 
Let me, yo, uh, yo, let me hit the Eddie Lennon's chicken dinner with the fry, <laughs> with the french fries, bubble sauce, bubble sauce. What's it? Ice tea and a styrofoam. Oh man, oh, he hit me with a whole verse on this giant. He coming through with the verse on him. All right, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Jada got that hit with the carb joint. How many carbitarians are there out there? You know what I'm saying? The people gonna people gonna download that thing. You know what I'm saying? The video is gonna be nothing but but like screenshots of various breads and um, potato chips <laughs> and different variations of fries too, like waffle cut fries, shoestrings, crinkle cuts. You know what I'm saying? There you go. So look, y'all, look at here. We done did it. You wrote a little bit of this of a verse, right? And you wrote this chorus. This is pretty much the structure. I mean, the job of the verse is to give you more is, is to give you more um, information. The job of the chorus is to is to keep is to basically summarize what this whole song is about, like carbs, carbs, all we want is carbs. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? So you know what time it is. And then there are certain things that you might do to vary your delivery to make things more interesting because you don't want to make things too monotonous. So look, y'all, we got it. Boom. My name is Chris Styles Bacon. If you want to reach out to me about any of the things that you have heard, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up. Boom, right there. That is my joint, Chris Styles Bacon. You know, I know we're doing this whole, ex this whole exhibit about food, but my last name just happens to be Bacon. Look, it's a match made in heaven. We good. All right? Any questions, comments, or concerns before we slide to the left, y'all? Hey, hey. I know, my last name Bacon, I'm vegan. It's crazy. It's how it be sometimes. All right? Ah. Okay. So look. Oh, yeah, Becca. So look. About virtual performances in schools, I'm actually doing one on the 28th. So I'm doing virtual performances, like educational performances, all the time. So, so send me, send me something, once again, right here, on Instagram, right there, and Paya. That is it. Chris Styles Bacon at all the things. All right? Anything else, y'all? Any questions, comments, or concerns before we slide to the left, before I'm out like trout? Hey, 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 hey. Thanks for sharing so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for getting on the mic. I hope this was um, sort of a delight. I hope you wrote a good verse that you like. <laughs> Mix it like rice. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, y'all. My name is Chris Osbega. It's been a pleasure rocking with y'all, man. I hope y'all continue to eat good, feel good, and lift each other up and, you know, all the things, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. And as Janelle said, please fill out the survey um, as soon as you get it, as you end this program, and come back and join us next Thursday, same time, same place. Um, and we'll learn more about food, um, soil science, and it will be a totally different kind of vibe, but also really fun and enjoyable. Um, again, it's Take Time Thursdays every Thursday at 2.30 here at the Anacostia Community Museum. I also am hungry, but that was really beautiful, and it was great to see all of your energy. And if you want to check out more, please go outside to Anacostia Community Museum and see the Food for the People exhibition. And online on YouTube, we have our kickoff video featuring Chris Styles Bacon. Um, we can't wait to have more programs with you. Thanks again, and have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you.